Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to the news. It is very noticeable that in Nigeria, our cost of governance over the years has been very high and very alarming. To the extent, there have been several suggestions from people that the House of Senate should be scrapped off, at least to save the cost of governance. Yes, they said, see, we have to cut our expenses. We have to cut our spending. And most people have suggested that the House of the Senate should be scrapped off. Yes, they have suggested that it should be cut off so as to reduce the cost of governance in this country. They said it, all, it is of no use. The House of Senate is of no use. So for Nigeria to reduce our spending, we have to cut off this House of Senate because it is too expensive to keep. Now, my country people, uh, one of the, the senators representing Kano Central, Senator Ibrahim, has advised President Bola Tinibu to take steps to reduce the cost of governance in Nigeria. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Kano Central Senator Ibrahim Shikaru has advised President Bola Tinibu on steps in, to take in reducing the cost of governance. Mr. Ibrahim advised Tinibu to cut the compassion of the the composition i beg your pardon of the senate and the house of representatives as a way of reducing the cost of governance speaking on channel television politics today on wednesday night ibrahim said that nigeria does not need both chambers on that tinibu according to ibrahim left for him alone we don't even need the two chambers we don't need two houses because it is causing the country and I agree that a democracy means getting as many involved as possible. But the way it is going now, it is almost 500 legislators nationwide. And I don't think we really need this much at the moment. The composition of the National Assembly is about 109 senators and the 360 House of Representatives members. So it is too much. It is too much. But then, my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? This is a constitutional matter that will require amendment to the Constitution. We ask ourselves, will our politicians, will they support it? I doubt it. They won't support this. Let's be real. This man is making a valid and a vital point here. I mean, those who should represent the people are just there representing themselves and their family welfare rather than being a service to the society. They see it as an avenue to share the national cake among the privileged few. So you see, this legislative business should be made a purely part-time voluntary service by competent and accomplished citizens and not uh, retired governors who go there to continue their, their, their tenure. And yes, the cost of governance is too much in Nigeria, yet we are not seeing any meaningful impact. We are not seeing any meaningful impact. They disappear. And after four years, they remember, oh, where they have people... During election period, they will start sharing rice all year and, uh, you know, things to entice people to vote for them. And once they get into that position, you won't hear from, you won't hear from them again. So you see my country people, like I said, like I said it before, we have about 109 senators and 360 House of Rep members. And I can tell you that it costs trillions of naira. To maintain such a big national assembly, even the state assembly uh, compositions are also too much. You see, these huge numbers of legislators, both on the state and the national assemblies, they are costing the country trillions of naira and millions of dollars. So I suggest that the numbers of legislators should be reduced at least to save the cost of governance. Yes. It will save the cost of governance. And if we do so, then we will see that uh, this country would progress forward. Yes, we have to reduce the cost of governance because the money they are paying these people, if we put it in other sectors, huh, we know what 
or we'll know where, where this country will, will be. So my country people, make one account choke them out for this matter. See, they be like this, so... The Kano Central Senator, Mr. Ibrahim Shakarao, has advised President Bola Tinibu on steps to take in reducing the cost of governance. He advised Tinibu to cut down the composition of the Senate and also the House of Reps as a way of reducing the cost of governance in Nigeria. I can say that, yes, Mr. Ibrahim Shakarao has really, really uh, spoken well because this is what we really need to uh, look into in this country. You know, these are one of the problems we are facing in this country. And we remember in May, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, ACC, Omoyele Sowore, in a post on Twitter, he said that uh, if he becomes the, the president, he would abolish the Senate and divert the public resources saved from there, you know, to the education sector of this country. And to other sectors that need attention, he, you know, he made this known. Also, last year, Governor uh, Rotimi of Ondo State had really advocated the scrapping of the Senate with each zone having an equal number of about four representatives at the National Assembly. You know, so many other people have been making calls that they should scrap off uh, this House of Senate because it is not helping us. And you can see that their salaries are huge. They have other allowances, you know, that is being allocated to them. But when they were making this call, hmm. the president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, he warned those people, he didn't say, make not keep quiet. Yes, he warned those that were clamoring for the scrapping off of the Senate. He said, see, you guys should keep quiet. If you don't know what to say, you keep quiet. He said, see, those that are clamor uh, clamoring for the scrapping off of the Senate, it will put this country at risk. So he made it known to them that if you don't like the set of members in the National Assembly, then you change them. You change them, but you don't have to say that uh, they should scrap off the Senate because you think uh, it will save this country a lot of money. Hmm. So my country people, now so the matter they be. Make one account you come out for this matter. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.